to list a whole bunch of watch brands who produced beefy divers, you'd probably get through a few dozen before coming around to Glassuta Original. But while it's not something that they're necessarily known for, the Glassuta Original CQ Panorama Date is an exceptional example of how a classy brand can approach a vintage-inspired dive watch. Now, although the CQ design is based upon a vintage Glassuta model from 1969, many of the design features have been adapted or introduced to better suit a modern catalogue. The classic skin diver silhouette has been fitted with crown guards for a contemporary look, as well as practical use, and the dimensions have expanded considerably. The diameter is an impactful 43.2mm, promising wrist presence way beyond any vintage sizing. The 51.5mm lug to lug width is best suited to average or large wrists. My wrist here is a 7 inch wrist. However, it can still work on a smaller wrist with a degree of bravery and nonchalance. Now, despite brushed finishes on the majority of the stainless steel case, the Glassuta Original CQ Panorama Date still manages to transcend the utilitarian nature of a dive watch and appears refined. If you prefer a less subtle effect, well, the 18 karat red gold case conveys its luxury status much more readily. Both of these watches are fitted with a ceramic bezel insert, promising high scratch resistance as well as a beautifully glossy finish. They're also just as dive capable as each other, thanks to 300 meters of water resistance, backed up by the screw down crown. So we've established that Glassuta Original aren't known for their divers, but their panor range of watches have really exemplified the brand's capabilities in the last couple of decades. The Panorama Date display is now a hallmark of their design, and introducing it to the CQ range helps to integrate this model deep into their aesthetic. Two concentric date wheels converge within the large aperture, allowing the numerals to line up next to each other consistently and neatly. This makes reading the date feel natural and the size gives it a sense of belonging, which the four o'clock placement might otherwise contradict. Other than the panorama date, the dial remains quite faithful to its 1969 ancestor. The Arabic numerals display a vintage style six, and the domed sapphire crystal has this wonderful distortion around its edges, like an old acrylic crystal. The hands are easy to distinguish from one another, and the important aspects are all packed with luminous paint. Powering the Glassuta Original CQ Panorama Date is the in-house calibre 3613, visible from the display case back, which also sports a domed sapphire. The Glassuta origins are easy to spot with the traditional three-quarter plate design, and the decoration is done with great care. It's got a smooth four hertz beat rate and yet 100 hours of power reserve. Pricing for the CQ Panorama Date begins at 16,800 Australian dollars for the steel model with a basic clasp. This price then increases by $450 for the butterfly clasp or a further $1,850 for the full stainless steel bracelet. The gold model goes for 37,400 Australian dollars. I don't know about you, but these watches feel incredible on my wrist. And when I look down at it, I am mesmerized by the way this dome sapphire just bends and morphs and warps everything underneath. It just is a endless pleasure just to twist and turn that watch, just to kind of see, how does it look from here? How does it look from there? And this is a real dive watch. You can really swim with this. You can really dive with this. 
in my mind. This is a heavy hitting dive watch with massive punch and you're never gonna fail to get questions from people when they see that on your wrist. Anyway, what do you think about this CQ Panorama date? Has it grabbed you as much as me? Let me know in the comments, I'm really curious. Hey, and if you liked this video, well, you know exactly what to do. I'll see you on the flip side.